All right, theater rhythm. We just played 10 hours of Zelda. Now it's time for 30 minutes of theater rhythm. I have almost 100% of this game. You're going to hop off for now? We hope we can do a, a, a Advance Wars sometime? Yeah, of course. Thank you for stopping by, Ephraim. I appreciate you being here during this long stream. Schoolwork is trying to kill you. I'm sorry. I know. It's rough. It's rough. Speaking of rough, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of bummed. This is it. Once I finish this, it's back to work tomorrow. Uh, vacation's over. It didn't... The post-con depression really didn't hit this time, but now that I'm... Now that it's all about to end, kind of just like, oh man, do I really have to go back to work tomorrow? Now playable in music stages. Five songs from Chrono Trigger, one song from Chrono Cross. Not even Chrono Cross, it's Radical Dreamers. I guess because I have to deal with more lab stuff, yay. Hey, it's important. You're gonna get it done, and you'll be and you'll be good after that. So a little progress. Uh, feats. I have 98 out of 100. All I need to do is collect every character collect a card, and get 99.8 million points in a supreme score with standard style, which is ridiculously hard. I cannot pull that off right now. I am missing exactly 10 collector cards. I have every single one except for 10 of the special ranks for the character cards. They are random drops. I have a team that's specialized in getting rare drops and they still can't pull them off that quickly. So it's just me playing until I get them. Getting those 10 will give me one of the two feats. Uh, in terms of records... I've gotten three stars in everything now. Not everything has three. St not every individual stat has three stars, but I have enough among all the stats here that I have five stars on my uh, card now. I don't know if I had that last time I streamed this. And as you can see, uh, come on. Yeah, I have five star completion and 98 out of 100 feats. There is technically, I've mentioned this before, there is a higher level of completion. Uh, if you get a big star on every single thing in the, in them, in the, uh, r records, you get five, like, rainbow platinum stars. I do not give a shit about that. I just want to get those last two feats, and then I'm good. I did enough. All right. So we have two two more uh, we have two more DLC packs to do. Near Pack Two came out uh, about three weeks ago. This includes five songs from the original Near, which again never played, and uh, one song from Near Replicant, which is the remake of Near that came out. Uh, I think it was a year ago or maybe two years ago. So we'll do those first, and then we'll move on to the. Uh, the part we're clearly waiting for here. And now because the DLCs are coming out every three weeks, that means the next one of these isn't going to be till the end of June. Uh, in fact, the last stream I do before I go to Anthrocon is going to probably be have uh, the next Theater Rhythm stream in it. So I do a stream of Theater Rhythm when I come back from one, and I'm going to do a stream of Theater Rhythm right before I go to another one. I was pressing a direction on there.
Okay, window is open. Oh my god, air. Delicious air. I got 9.6 million on that. Not bad. Again, I don't know much about Nier. That's more Lolzalz's territory. I know it's a, I know if it's a, Nier is a spin-off of Dra Drakengard, Drakengard. But that's all I really know about it. And I have Nier Automata, I just haven't played far past the first hour. Hills of Radiant Winds. It's a spin-off? Yeah, Nier. So Drakengard, one of I think it's Drakengard 2 or 3 has kind of a, a weird, like, non-canon ending where where you get teleported to, like, modern-day Japan and you get, like, fired upon by, like, the the, the, the Japan Defense Force. And apparently that sp that specific ending spins off into the Nier series. Starting with Nier, um... Nier, Nier, Nier Replicant, Nier Gestalt, and Nier Automata. I think. I don't, I don't quite know how it works out. Drake and Guard 1. Oh. Hey, Lai. How you doing? That was rough. Triple S. Interesting. I think I've only heard that name, but I don't think it would have any relation to Nier at all. Yeah. On, on the surface, it, do, it doesn't seem to be. I don't know what the actual, like, relationship between the series is beyond that Nier was created as a spin-off from one ending. Like, I don't know if there's major parts of Drakengard that come back. Drakengard that come back in Nier, but like, I don't know. Kaine. Salvation. Also, if you want to see the team I'm using right now, so everyone's at 99, star 9, except for Fran, she's at star 8. They have, they all have Rare Collector, to increase the rarity of the, uh, Collector cards. They all have Collector Card Magnet, except for, uh, actually, she, she should put Rare Collector on, or she should, oh no, she doesn't have that. Never mind. Two Collector Card Magnets, makes enemies drop more treasure chests, makes enemies, increases how often Collector Cards show up. Increases the rarity level of the collected cards. Makes enemies drop slightly more treasure chests. And I also gave her a barrage, but like she doesn't really have. She has item hunter, but that makes less collected cards appear, so it's like not worth doing that. So I pretty and then this has this the summon gives collected card drop rate plus 120%. So this this is team is made to get collected cards at high levels. It's just a matter of not getting bad luck or getting good luck with the uh, with the drops. I just need those last 10, and then that one feat is done. And then all I need to do is beat a song on Supreme with 9.8 million points. The reason I use Yuna 
is because she has Grand Summon, so like on a battle stage, she'll automatically summon something at the beginning and do a ton of damage. <laughs> and, and proc that collect a card drop rate bonus. Obviously field stages, it's no good. But she still has rare collector to even to make her useful here. Cheesing it. Yeah, kinda. This game's based around building broken builds to increase drops and stuff and damage. short. They also all have almost maxed out stats. They all have maxed out luck, so the drop rate is, is like as high as it can be. But I got almost nothing there. Actually, wait, I don't think Fran has maxed out luck, because I couldn't... Let me see. Nine, 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 nine. Nope, all of them do. They all have maxed luck. And, max ag and almost max agility. Strength can help because individual beats do count the strength as a uh, damage. Song of the Ancients, Fate.
didn't get the triple S on that. That's fine. My self-imposed rule is that I need to get a double S or triple S on Ultimate for me to consider it clear. And I've done that with every song in the game now. Oh, I got one new card. Nice. Kurosame, special. Ten, uh, nine more to go. Shadow Lord. I'm gonna put these on. There's really no need for the, the growth eggs anymore. I just want Fran to reach max level so I can have a party of max level people. Love the Shadow Lord theme. Nice. Waiting for it to kick in because the score is going up very slow. This is a longer one. I think it's just a very long song. That's why it's going up so slow. I thought it was going to have like a huge drop in the middle. Still a good song. I was right.
Whew. Did really good on that. That was a long one. Experience. Good. Oh, another new card. Perfect. Eight more to go. Spirit is special. All right. We got one more near song. Fleeting Worlds Outsider from the near replicant remake. That's the final boss theme for near, so it's going to be a long one. Yeah. Well, they don't always include the whole song. That's kind of the issue. But the DLC seems to do that. So that's cool. All right, one more near song, and then we move on to the second pack. Good. Nothing new there. All right. So that's the near. That was that's the second of the near packs. Now we have our first of the two Chrono Packs. Uh, the next one, the next DLC is going to be Chrono Pack 2. We have five songs from Chrono Trigger, one from Cross. With, of course, Chrono Trigger being the very first one. Let's freaking go. We uh, Chrono content in 2023. We're eating good. Look at the background. It's the end of time. It's so good.
You almost hear the sound effects. Wow, I fucked that end part up. My finger's like desynced in the middle of that. I barely missed triple S, but I still got double S, so I'm fine. <laughs> yes, keep pouring that in my cup, please. Seriously, keep going. Yes. Yes, exactly. The nostalgia needs to keep flowing here. Boss Battle 2. the Masamune. Who's the third of the sis of them? There's Masamune and there was the third one. Like their sister. I thought it was just Masa Mune. There's a third one. They have like a sister. They're brothers, and then they also have a, a sister that lives in the Middle Age or lives in the Dark Ages or Antiquity, depending on which version of the game you're playing. <clears throat> See, that's the thing. For as much as I love Chrono Trigger, I didn't play it until the DS version. So to me, it's not the Dark Ages, it's Antiquity. That's what I know it as. Everyone's, every, everyone's favorite battle theme. Everyone's favorite RPG battle theme from the uh, from from the Edge era. Magus, Magus. I don't know how you pronounce his name, but he was the original Edge boy. Doreen. Okay. This fight was also the first, like, really hard fight of the game.
Not bad. Corridors of Time. Oh, yes. This is my alarm theme. The best fucking overworld themes ever created. Speaking of antiquity in the Dark Ages, right? You mean quarters of dark home? <laughs> Ow. Perfect chain. No new cards. Fran's about to level up. Wings that cross time. Uh, oh cool. Epoch theme. I forgot what this song- I was like, what song is this? Also, holy shit, the frame died hard in that part. Really? Huh. And that might just be OBS, because I've been streaming for so long at this point. This segment alone's been 8 hours and 10 minutes. And then I streamed for 2.5 hours before then. So I've been streaming almost 11 hours today. I think this might be my longest stream day ever. I mean, it definitely is. It's definitely my longest day of streaming. Not longest consecutive stream, though. I think that was over eight hours. Oh, you meant when I streamed Chrono Trigger a few years ago? 
You're talking about the frames, frames dropping then? Yeah, that's because that old laptop was like wearing down at that point. Oh no, when you're in the middle of the song, the entire screen just effing died and almost lagged hard as long as it was scraping. Really? Might have been dropped frames then, yeah. Still going, but that second was rough. Uh, Alright. There we go, maxed out party. One last song, Radical Dreamers. Le Tresor Interdit from Chrono Cross. Time to cry, yes. Our last song for tonight, ending us off at just about 4 a.m., which admittedly is about an hour to a 30 minutes longer than I wanted to go, 30 minutes to an hour longer than I wanted to go, but whatever. It's a special occasion, and it's the end of vacation for me. Might as well end it on a high note.
That wasn't the whole thing. I know. They do that. Alright, ultimate. Once again, everything cleared. SS, double SS. I gotta stop. It's so late. It's so late, I gotta stop. I've been streaming for so long again that this might be a record. Might very well be a record. But yeah, I had a, I had fun. I had fun today. Yeah, go to bed. I need to I need to eat something and go to bed. Yeah. Eight eight hours and twenty minutes of streaming now, two fifty before, so yeah, almost twelve hours of stream. This, I think, is my longest day of streaming ever, even though I did take a break in the middle of it. But straight, in terms of time spent streaming, uh, definitely up there. Definitely up there. I don't think, again, I don't think it's my longest single session. My longest single session was, like, a little longer than this. I think, like, eight and a half to eight to nine hours. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know. But thank you for coming, thank you for watching all that Zelda, thank you for staying for Chrono Trigger, and, <laughs> and Nier, and Theater Rhythm, and all that. Uh, more Tears of the Kingdom tomorrow and Thursday. We'll not be here Friday and Saturday. I don't know what's gonna happen in the near future regarding streams, we'll have to see. But I'm home, for now at least. And we'll see... We'll see where things take us. Um, you know, thank you for coming to my- today, again, today was my affiliate anniversary, technically. Technically in Twitch terms, but not technically in real life. My stream anniversary, stream, my affiliate anniversary is like a week, like a week and a half from now. It's like 10 days from now. But thank you for coming. If you followed or cheered bits today, thank you. Sorry again that the alerts weren't working, but I appreciate everyone being here. I know I've complained about how things are going for me streaming before, but I think this past weekend has helped me come to terms with not being this big streamer because I could still do things to impress people and, and do things to make a difference and be there for people. And, you know, I don't need to be some big known streamer to do that, even though it would make life considerably easier if I didn't have to go to my job every day. But, I mean, that's why I'm doing the voice acting thing, right? That'll pay off eventually. And I won't have to worry about it anymore. Also, just notice they put the credits of the songs here. They actually have the lyricist, the vocalist, composer, all that stuff. That's cool. But yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's time for me to end this. I'll be back soon. Thank you so much for coming. If you want to watch more streams, check out twitch.tv slash team slash wildabandon. I don't know who's streaming there right now, but you could probably find someone. Thank you so much for coming. You all have a great evening. I'll see you tomorrow. No funny outro because I'm exhausted. Good night. Okay, one, one, one funny noise. Hold on, where is it? I'd love to get my fingers around his dick. <laughs>